Hello and welcome to HITC Sports. So Chelsea, the defending champions of England, have finished fifth after getting battered 3-0 at Newcastle. Have the Chelsea fans now turned on Antonio Conte? So Lewis, tell me. Antonio Conte, what are your thoughts? Stay or, stay or go? Absolutely stay. stay. How's your gun? Simple as that, he should go. Mate, he won the Prem for us, mate, he's got to stay. Clearly he doesn't want to be here. He, he made substitutions in like 74 the nearly 80th minute. He clearly doesn't care. And if he doesn't care, just get out. It's as simple as that. Because I want someone actually cares and wants us to do well. He's almost like he's flipped the visa at the board and said, right, you're not giving the players, I'm going to ruin your season. Because that team won the league last year. Me, honestly, I want to see some stability in this club in the last, like ever since Roman Abramovich has joined us, we changed managers, we changed players very quickly, we've been very quick to write people off. Conte's worked as magic with Chelsea before, he just needs to be given the players he wants and then we can judge him. Right now, I think he should still stay. I, I don't think I want him to go, I, I was hoping maybe we could have a manager in which we could build a legacy. But if we don't win the FA Cup, then I see him going definitely no matter what. If, if he wanted to be here and there was effort being done, then you know, it would be, it'd be a bit different. You know, you'd say, okay, well, maybe back him a bit more. It's the fact that he stands, it's a completely different man to what we saw last year. You saw a man unite the club, come back in, sort of, after the poor season we had in 15, 16, he came in and sort of pushed people to do better. And he made, he made Stamford of Fortress again and made us connect with the players. And, and then this season, he's just, he's, he's just a shadow. He sits in his chair or he stands on the touchline. He doesn't want to, he doesn't want to be there. I'll be honest with you, the first game where I, could, where I really did start to see a turn was Man City away. He seems to make the wrong substitutions and everything about the Man City game from the tactics to the substitutions, everything was wrong. And that's when it started to turn. And ever since then, we lost to Spurs, drew to West Ham after that. I think right now it's a 50-50 switch, but even the ones that are Conte out are a bit more respectful of him. There's, not, there's no hate for Conte. It's just some fans just want to say, okay, we should move on now. Because it does seem a bit mad. I mean, Chelsea, you seem to have this revolving door of manager yeah. kind of thing. It's, why do you think that is? Well, I mean, I mean, it's Roman's strategy. It's, it's based on success. If you don't win a Premier League trophy uh, or you don't bring, bring a big success to, uh, to the club, you know, within two years, then you don't really have much of a chance of actually staying longer. And that's Roman's strategy. And I think that needs to change because we're never going to have a legacy. You look at some of the owners that other clubs have, we've probably got one of the best, we've probably got one of the best and one of the most hungry. He's one that cares about Chelsea, so I've got nothing against that. But he's starting to become a bit more, what's the word, I'd say, more relaxed in terms of, he wants to be more stable. Like when Mourinho had that awful season, he gave him a lot more time than he would have given any other manager. That's why I think Conte hasn't been sacked yet either. He's, I, th I think Conte is going to get another chance. I think all the rumours that he's had, that you hear of him getting sacked or him leaving at the end of the season, I personally don't believe it. I think he's going to honour the rest of his contract. And if he doesn't, it's going to be c because he gets another chance to win the without the players he wants. He just walks out like he usually does. He's resigned to go, but we want him to stay. It's like a mixed feeling, yeah. you know what I mean? Is it a sort of thing where Chelsea have sacked so many managers at this stage, it's sort of inevitable? A bit like that, yeah, and also just this, like, so public in his criticism of the board exactly. that it's just like a bit... It's shown that when, when we get changed, that's a good thing, but, mate, it's Antonio Conte, he won us the Prem. I'd, I'd, I'd love him, him to I say, him to but I don't think it's likely, I'm not yeah. gonna lie. But yeah, yeah, tell yeah. me, what's gone wrong, though, because first to fifth... <laughs> There's many things we could say. We could say that the tactics have gone all wrong. We could say that the motivations of the players have all gone wrong. Um, I would say possibly the signings uh, have not gone, you know, the signings just weren't good enough. Substitutions, he doesn't get it right. The personnel, he didn't get who he wanted, but he threw his toys out of hand rather than trying to work with what he got at first. It made sense of people sort of going, uh, you know, it made sense because he was going, I didn't know the players, I need to do better. Everyone was behind at that point, so I was going, okay, that's fine, that makes sense. Just keep pushing forward and, you know, we'll, we'll be fine. But it's when he kept doing it from September to October to November to December, January, February. He did it every single press conference and he just moans. And it's at a point where you're going, you know what, I get it, but you've been given tools, just use them. Losing Costa was big, Morata hasn't performed, so I think that that's... To be honest, what's cost us in comparison to last year, but... We need a few signings to get some optimism from fans, yeah. to be honest. I do. I'd, we like, I'd like some sign Martial from United. The, the play is slow, it's, it's, it's lacklustre, and it's where you see 
bigger teams or, or teams that are successful, the football's quick, it's, it's like they've won it. One or two touches, move it around. But it's the fact that that's not being done. And at the, at the, and at the end of the day, look, if, the player, if there's a player that doesn't want to be here, like Maratta or Baki Okai or Emerson or whoever, if they don't want to be here, then leave. Submit a transfer request, get out. Because I don't want them pulling on the shirt for my, for my club.